The Suez Canal is a man-made waterway in Egypt that links the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Since its opening in 1869, the canal had provided Britain with a vital shipping route to its colonies in India, the Far East, and Australasia. When the Egyptian government nationalized the canal, France and Britain attacked. The year was 1956, and the main event was the Suez Crisis. Britain had acquired the right to maintain defense forces in the Suez Canal Zone through the Anglo-Egyptian Treaty of 1936. During the 1950s, there was a rise of nationalism in Egypt. The nationalists, led by soon-to-be President Gamal Abdel Nasser, repeatedly demanded that Britain evacuate the Suez Canal Zone. In 1954, the two countries signed a seven-year agreement that superseded the 1936 treaty and provided for the gradual withdrawal of British troops from the zone. By June of 1956, the last British troops departed, and the Egyptian military took over now vacant installations. The events that brought the crisis to a head occurred in the spring and summer of 1956. On May the 16th, Egyptian President Nasser officially recognized the People's Republic of China, and added to that, he had previously struck an arms deal with the Soviet satellite state Czechoslovakia. These alliances caused the United States to cancel a promised grant of $56 million towards the building of the Aswan Dam. NASA was furious, and on the 26th of July, he announced that he had nationalized the Suez Canal. The share owners, the majority of whom were from Britain and France, were promised compensation. NASA argued that the revenues from the operation of the canal would finance construction of the dam. On August the 1st, a meeting was held at 10 Downing Street, London, between British Foreign Secretary Selwyn Lloyd, US Ambassador Robert D. Murphy, and French Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Pinot. The British and French governments were in favor of military intervention against Egypt. The nationalization hit British economic and military interests in the region. France was nervous about the growing influence that Nasser exerted on its North African colonies, and Britain was anxious to retain its colonial shipping routes. Both nations were eager that the canal should remain open as an important conduit for oil. Egypt had already closed down Israeli shipping routes, and the British argued that this could soon lead to a war between Egypt and Israel if they did not intervene. The Americans, however, would not support military intervention. Instead, they encouraged initiatives to reduce tensions, and between July and October of 1956, international conferences were held to try to secure agreement on canal operations. They were, however, unproductive. Three months after the nationalization, representatives from the British, French, and Israeli governments held secret meetings at an isolated house in Sèvres, France. Together, they set out a plan for a two-stage invasion of Egypt. First, Israel would attack the Sinai Peninsula. Britain and France would then intervene and ultimately return the Suez Canal to Anglo-French control. The secret military pact was known as the Protocol of Sèvres. According to plan, on October the 29th, 1956, Israel invaded Egypt. Two days later, British and French forces intervened for the announced purpose of ensuring free passage through the Suez Canal. But by the time the British and French troops landed at Port Said, Israeli forces had already captured the Sinai Peninsula. From a military point of view, the operation was a success, but politically, it was disastrous. The Americans demanded a ceasefire, and through the intervention of the United Nations, a truce was arranged by November. By the end of the year, Israeli, French, and British forces were withdrawn. Humiliated, British Prime Minister Anthony Eden was forced to resign, while Nasser was hailed a hero by the Egyptian people. The main event of 1956 represented a victory in the Arab world and the end of colonial power. The prestige of both Britain and France had crumbled, while the United States of America emerged as a new world power. Music